Affinity Photo can import PSD files, and with version 1.8, it can also import smart objects into its native embedded document format. Here's how to enable PSD smart object import. So before we do anything else, we need to specifically enable smart object import. To do that, we need to go to Preferences. If you're on Windows, Preferences will be under the Edit menu. So we can go to Preferences, then go to the General Category, and just enable this option here, Import PSD Smart Objects where possible. Now we've done that, we can open our PSD file with a smart object. So we have a billboard mockup here, and I'm just going to drag drop it into Affinity Photo. Now with some templates or mockups, you may have the branding logo here. So across on the Layers panel, we're just going to hide this top layer. And what this mockup allows us to do is put an image or some kind of logo or branding onto this billboard here. So we have this layer called Replace This Screen. If we just expand it, we'll see it has a mask and a live perspective filter. So when this document was created in Photoshop, there would have been a perspective transform on the smart object. And this has been translated to Affinity Photo's live perspective filter here. So what was previously a smart object is now an embedded document. And there are two ways we can enter this embedded document. One approach is with the Move tool selected, we have the option up here to edit document. And if we do that, we will move into the embedded document. If I just close this down, another approach is simply to double click the thumbnail here. And once again, we will move into the embedded document. So now all we have to do is put our own logo here. So we'll select the existing logo and just use backspace on the keyboard to delete it. Then let's move out to our file explorer, go into the branding folder, and I've got the Affinity logo here in black and white. So let's try the black variant first. I'll just click drag and just drop this straight into the embedded document here. Now we can reposition and rescale this using the Move tool. But a great little tip when you're trying to line layers up relative to document margins and bounds is to enable snapping up here. So now with snapping enabled, if I start to drag this logo around, it will very quickly snap. And now I can be sure it is exactly in the middle. If I want to scale the logo up, I can hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows to resize around the center of the layer. Then I'll release the mouse button and close the embedded document down to see the changes reflected in the parent document. Of course, the great advantage to this approach is that everything is entirely non-destructive. So if we wanted to try the white version of the logo, we could go back into edit our document here and then just move back out, get the white version of the logo and just place it into the embedded document. And with the move tool, I will just scale using command on Mac, control on Windows to resize around the center point until we are in the middle of the document and then I'll just scale further to make sure the dimensions match. Then I can hide the black logo and just come out of the embedded document to see my changes reflected again. So there we go, that was a quick look at how to enable smart object import and also how to edit the resulting embedded document.